Hello everyone and welcome to Android Malware Analysis course. Uh, in this video we're going to see some of the tools and how they work uh, that we saw in the previous modules. So let's start with APK tool. Uh, I have downloaded the files of APK tool from uh, the link that I gave you in module 2 and here I have an APK file from Flappy Bird which is which is a game that uh, has been many times uh, been malware infected. Uh, so to start we have here the uh, a folder I named it APK tool uh, which where I have the APK tool files and the APK file that I uh, we want to decompile and e or recompile. So we hit shift and right click and in this drop down menu we can see the open command window here. We select it and a new CMD window opens. Here we can we are in the folder of the APK tool and to decompile the flappy.apk that we have we type apk tool D from the compile and the APK file that we want to decompile. We hit enter and as you can see a new folder with all the files of the uh, the decompiled files or the unzipped files of the Flappy Bird application is here in the new folder. Now uh, another thing to do after we completed our analysis and uh, completed or complete our uh, malware development is recompile this uh, APK to be able to be recognized as an application from the Android uh, systems. Uh, to do so we type APK tool again but in this time B and uh, the name of the folder of the decompiled APK and hit enter and as you can see here uh, the APK tool ma uh, made its recompile and it says that our uh, our recompiled APK is in the dist folder here so let's rename this recompiled APK and move it here Now that we have uh, finished uh, the recompiled of our new APK, we're going to use a new tool, the ZipAlign tool, which we, you can also download from uh, module 2 and you place it in the same directory as earlier. Um, so ZipAlign is an archive alignment tool that provides important, important optimization to Android uh, zip uh, 200 applications. Uh, the purpose is to ensure that all our compressed data starts with a particular alignment relative uh, to start of the file. So to do so, uh, first of all we need to do this in every application that we uh, we decompile and then recompile. Uh, it's an important step and uh, read, you, you can read uh, more for, for this in module 2 uh, and to do, to do so we uh, type in the command line window that again we open it with shift right click and to open command line here uh, so we type zip align dash v4 the recompiled apk uh, file and then the new apk that we want 
uh, to produce. So in my occasion, new.apk, hit enter. And as you can see here, we have a new zip aligned apk file. Uh, finally, we have uh, another great tool, uh, the Notepad++ that you can download for uh, Windows, Linux or Macintosh or whatever you want. Uh, this is an alternative to the Notepad with, but with many additions. Uh, if we install it, we can right click and hit edit with Notepad++ and as you can see, it opens uh, the new file here. Uh, you can see that uh, this, uh, this file is red. Red means that you have done changes in this file, you closed the program and uh, it saved automatically but it, it didn't in Notepad++ Plus, but it didn't save in the file. So if we hit save, you see that it is now blue and everything we made, everything we changed is saved into the file. So with saves, uh, you are not going to lose anything and uh, you uh, can make changes but not save it directly to the file. Uh, another really interesting uh, addition is that uh, we can write code and it helps us find things like this. It, as you can see, it uh, auto-completes many things uh, and this makes our coding uh, easier because uh, not easier, uh, faster uh, our coding because we do not have to uh, write many uh, many uh, lines of code and it also completes many things. Uh, another really interesting thing is that it uh, separate things with coloring and it is easier on the eye uh, we can uh, determine which things uh, we care for this time in this analysis or the other one uh, it makes spaces so we can find uh, for example when it starts the manifest file and where it ends where this user permission starts and ends or this activity you can see that if I select it it uh, highlights the start and the end of this activity or uh, of this application or a manifest. Uh, so it's really interesting uh, tool with many more capabilities and feel free to search it and find uh, all the capabilities that suit you.